Redevelopment plans for the Singapore Art Museum have been hit by a further delay. They're expected to be completed only in 2026, as the project is reviewed and plans are revised. Now, the museum says that this is in line with the government's efforts to exercise prudence during challenging times, while ensuring that heritage buildings can serve the public for years to come. But it is not sitting easy. The museum is using the time to launch a new strategic direction aimed at making its art more accessible. More artwork will be featured in public places like libraries in the coming months. The museum will also launch a new space at Tanjong Paga District Park by early next year. The space will host exhibitions as well as innovative and interactive art experiences for the public. And for a closer look, we're joined now by Dr. Eugene Tan. He's director of the Singapore Art Museum. Dr. Tan, tell us about this new space at Tanjong Paga District Park. It already had a reputation as this edgy arts hub a decade ago, but it doesn't really fit everyone's perception of what an art museum might be. What opportunities are in store for us? Yes, I expected to open in early 2022. Same at Tanjong Paga District Park will be one of the key venues where audiences can catch and experience Sam's new exhibitions and programs. It will be a versatile space to present large-scale contemporary art installations and host groups of visitors com comfortably, as well as having new spaces for collaboration and interaction. The space will span across two levels with over 3,000 square meters in total. It was designed to be very flexible, including two galleries to present large-scale experimental exhibitions and installations, multi-purpose event space for programs, artist studios for artists in residence, shared workspaces, as well as f &B spaces. Now it's in line with the museum's new strategic direction of taking art beyond just four walls. So how much of this is influenced by the public's consumption patterns? Well, being a contemporary art museum, Sam's new strategic direction has resulted from examination of what it really means to be a contemporary art museum in our day and age. A contemporary art is multifarious in nature. It takes many forms and dis interdisciplinary practices, physical as well as virtual. Contemporary art really no longer conforms to the traditional definition and categories of art. We have to acknowledge that art today is being made everywhere and hence can also be experienced almost anywhere in many aspects of our everyday lives. An example is of course the internet, the numerous posts that we see every day on social, social media, such as Instagram. Now, this is something the recent hype about NFTs is drawing attention to. And we also have to consider these things being posted on social media as art. So given this situation, we really want to dispel the notion that art can only be seen and experienced in museums and art spaces. So one aspect of our new strategy is therefore to bring the experience of art to our publics in their everyday lives. Sam wants to disappear in a sense, we don't want the public to think of Sam just as our museum buildings, but about the experiences with art that Sam will facilitate and mediate in many aspects of our contemporary societies and everyday lives. Art is indeed an experience, Dr. Tan, and you're hoping to drive some of that positive change through it, but how are you going to measure that? Well, uh, one aspect of our new direction is to be a constituent museum where we want to recalibrate our relationship with our constituents and put this relationship to the center of what we do. Now, what I mean by this is that we know artists reflect and contemplate about our world through their work. And contemporary art always has a world-making aspect to it. Artists reflect on our societies and our world, but also envision new possibilities about what our world can be. They highlight issues with our world, such as globalization, neoliberalism, inequalities, as well as the climate emergency, but also possible futures as such, they really try and build co coeval connectivity, sustainable relationships with others, with our societies and with our environment. Um, as such, by making art more accessible, we hope that our, our publics, our constituents, will become more aware of the role of art in our societies and in our lives. I think more so than ever now, museums can be generators of social change, making a space for healthy discussions, broadening perspectives and collaborative exchanges. I've got to ask you about the museum's redevelopment plans uh, and get your thoughts. So what's contributing to the added delay with, with it? Well, COVID-19, as you know, has disrupted many things. Um, so this revision of our plans in Bras Basa is really to keep us in line with the government's efforts to remain prudent during this time. 
So the current focus of the redevelopment will focus on conserving the, the old SGI building and old Catholic high school, both of which are national monuments and conserved conserve buildings, so that they continue to serve the public for many years to come. Dr. Tan, your heritage buildings, I mean, when they reopen again, I mean, these are buildings that we, we many of us grew, grew up with, we know and love. I mean, when, they, when they're ready to welcome people back, what, what can we expect from that? I think this, as I explained to our new vision, I think we'll, our heritage buildings will continue to be a site for us to engage our audiences, together with many other sites across Singapore, including Tanjong Pagar District Park as well. So I think audiences will have a lot of new, exciting art experiences to look forward to, not only when our heritage buildings become ready, but I think as early as next year as well. All right, well, thank you so much for talking with us this evening, Dr. Eugene Tan, Director of the Singapore Art Museum.